I just cannot get over for what money it costs to install these uh, sumo springs. How much this coach handle? Hey folks, this is Robbie with Asher RV here at Sewell Motor Coach. And today I'm going to do, I've got a video on a 2013 Tiffin um, open road gasser. This unit, uh, it's a leaf sprung unit, F53 chassis. So if you clicked on this video, you're obviously curious about the Sumo Springs. I myself did not know anything about them before this installation. We did a little research on it, uh, ordered it for the customer. He also wanted the steering stabilizer on this unit. So we got that from Safety Plus and we got the Sumo Springs from Super Springs. Um, so if you want to see how that install goes, I've got that following uh, this clip right here. As well as, I've got a review at the end of whether I believe that these sumo springs are worth the money or not. And folks, I've driven a lot of coaches. So, if you find this video helpful, if you don't mind to smash that like button or give me a subscribe for more content like this. I've got several more videos in the works. So, thanks again. Appreciate it, folks. We got our sumo springs in for our tiffin. This is the correct part number for this unit. It is a 26K uh, GVWR. This is actually for the 18 to 22K. So I already have this installed, which I've got the video of that. And we actually got these lower brackets, which they were not correct for this tiffin open road here, this 2013 model. But these are the correct lower brackets. You got like a J on each side. And then a flat bracket that this will go on top of the actual leaf spring itself. So let's go ahead and get straight to the install. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get in this coach and we're going to auto level the levelers. Once the levelers have grounded and leveled the coach... We're going to now raise the front because that's what we're going to install first. So we're going to raise the front a little bit higher, not all the way to where the tires are off the ground. We'll get it up where the suspension can travel enough to get these bump stops in. So now under the coach, we're on the uh, driver's side where the bump stop is actually through bolted. So you actually need to use a socket and an extension to reach up inside of this bump stop as you can see here. And then you, on the driver's side, you'll have to hold the nut with a wrench. On the passenger side, there's actually a captured nut uh, through the frame. So you just need a half inch socket and extension to remove this bump stop. So now that we have the factory bump stop removed, you'll reuse this bolt. On the passenger side, there is no nut. You use this bracket. And as you can see, there are raised edges that hook on the inner part of the frame. And the cornered off 45 pieces face towards the outside towards the shock you'll start your bolt and thread it up into the frame itself so as you see here i'm loosening this bracket up a little bit to drop these bolts in that hold the bump stop itself so once you got the brackets secured to the frame then you can take your bump stop and mount your bump stop to this bracket with these two three eighths by one inch bolts it will save you some time to have a 9 16 ratchet wrench to do this job. So I'm up under this coach. This is actually the passenger side here. Um, probably can't tell, but in the center here, there's a bolt about an inch and a half in. That is actually, actually your factory bump stop bolt. Um, you'll take that bolt and reuse it on this new bracket. This one actually has a captured nut in the frame itself. So this bolt actually just goes up through this bracket. You'll have to have the bolt started here and here through this bracket, not threaded into this. And then uh, bolt this bracket to the frame. Then you'll take this bump stop and push it up to this bracket. And then you'll tighten these. It is actually 
you can see there's a nut and the bolt and there's the head of that bolt so you'll bolt that one same way you'll have to have these two bolts already started through this bracket just set them through the bracket before you attach it to the frame we did make that mistake so now we're going to move on to the lower brackets that actually sit on top of this so you'll have this J bracket and it actually hooks there's a hole on the bottom of this block right here on top of your leaf spring this actually hooks up underneath on both sides so with the coach actually raised up we're going to take this bracket and we're going to set it there so we're actually going to take the bolt drop it through put our J bracket on then put your washer and then your nut thread your nut up So you put your bolt through the top bracket, your J bracket on, then you put your washer and your nut. This has a slotted hole for adjustment. Make sure the J bracket is hooked into this. So now that we have our bolts in place and our bracket set on top of our leaf spring, we're going to tighten down our J brackets on both sides and center this bump stop the best we can with our slotted holes. You take a 14 millimeter or 9 16 I believe these are actually standard bolts. Um, 9 16 wrench and a 9 16 socket so i'm going to tighten that down for now and then as i lower the coach itself down i will re i will center this with this with these slotted holes here and possibly the slotted holes at the top so let me go ahead and get the other one installed so we got lucky as we lowered the coach the lower sumo springs lined up with the uppers we did not have to do any adjustments so now i move on to just making sure everything is tight so this customer also wanted the safety plus steering control uh, so to do that install it actually has a bracket on the passenger side of this bracket that the u-bolts actually bolt to your drag link that your tie rods are attached to this metal bracket you threw bolt to the safety plus stabilizer itself as you can see here um, on the other side there is a bracket that actually bolts to your u-bolts you will take the nuts off of your u-bolts and put this bracket with the hump facing up as you can see here and then on this side you will uh, through bolt your steering stabilizer to the bracket itself and to do this install you want to make sure that the full weight of the coach is actually on the tires if the jacks are down then the coach will actually pull one direction or the other so make sure that all the weight of the coach is on the tires all right folks so this is my test drive of this 2013 tiffin uh, open road with the uh, sumo springs on the front and the rear so my First, my first impression is they are a lot smoother. Here's some railroad tracks. Not too bad. You know, I've driven a lot of diesel pushers and a lot of gassers with no sumo springs, obviously. And this unit, actually, there is definitely an improvement. That set of railroad tracks at that, you know, 15 mile an hour is a little bit rough normally. And this coach actually is surprisingly smooth with the sumo springs. So. I'm going to say that definitely an improvement, like these manhole covers, significantly smoother. It's not got the rebound like um, normally with leaf springs, even with decent shocks, you have a pretty good rebound. You hear, you hear the roughness. This one, it seems to be pretty smooth. So the way these sumo springs actually work is it is actually sitting on the sumo spring all the time, which in my opinion would take out some of the roughness of the leaf spring due to the shock absorbing nature of the the rubber bump stop itself so i'm going to give this one a thumbs up and i think these are actually worth the money the front is significantly smoother and i can only imagine the rear is also i just cannot get over for what little money it costs to install these uh, sumo springs how much better this coach handles. 
So I went on a test drive beforehand just with the steering stabilizer to make sure that, you know, everything was centered up on it. And this coach, I'm just not a fan of how the gas coaches handle. They, you feel every little bump in the road. You feel all the vibrations. These Sumo Springs seriously made a world of difference. We've got uh, two coaches with the liquid springs on it. And I've got to take them for a test drive. Doug says they are amazing. They feel like a diesel pusher. This one to me is such an improvement that I don't know without, you know, without driving the liquid springs, I don't know how it could get that much better because these are significantly smoother. So thanks for making it this far in the video. Um, I know this is an install video, so it's not overly exciting, but I appreciate the view and uh, I'll, I'll add some links to some other videos. Like I said, this there's a front install video and a rear Sumo Spring install video. And in the front, I included the steering stabilizer. But all right, thanks again, folks. Appreciate it. Like and subscribe for some more content.